Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Comic Ant Communicate episode number six. All right, the previous episode, um, we met one new character and another character we got a little bit more introduction of who is um, Makeru. Uh, so Yadano Makeru, I, I remember her name now because it's like, you know, like it's like a wordplay. So we got her section and she declared herself rival of Komi. So you can say that rival equal to friend, you know, you can say that like she's not an enemy, but a rival and rivals are actually your friends, aren't they? I think so. So <laughs> yeah, she got another friend and like it was great to see that she made two friends in one episode. Like the next section we had um, uh, not Kanaka, I think that was her name. Yeah, uh, the Chunibyo, and she she also like you know I think kind of became her friend because in the end she said something like oh I <laughs> declare you my servant or something like that which is a way of you know like according to the Chunibyo translator it means yeah you're my friend now so <laughs> that was that we had like you know some fun bits where we get to see how Tadano also had that kind of a face where he kind of used to be like you know like naka naka while like you know after like got getting his heart broken he decided you know what let's stop this and this is like a dark <laughs> past of him and when he remembers these this phase of him uh in in middle school i think yeah in middle school so it's kind of funny to see that and it's funny to see how you know naka naka kind of <laughs> I don't know, like it tries to make friends in his in her own quirky and weird way, and uh, yeah, that was that was great. And I I think like I out of all these characters, um, I was really looking forward to uh, you know meeting the Chunibyo, and we we finally met her. And I think out of all the like, and I'm talking about the friends. I'm not talking about Komi or Tadano. From the friends, I feel like um, I think at least like my favorite is Naga Naga because of her that weird quirky personality. I really love that. So, yeah. Anyways, um, let's get started with this episode. This is episode six. Let's see what new friends, more new friends, Komi makes. Uh, so yeah. So without further ado, let's get started. I'll be putting the subtitles and the time timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get this video started. All right. So here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Jokes. Okay. That'll be interesting. No one's here. Komi always comes at, the, at first, doesn't she? Oh no, two days early. She's early. <laughs> Wait, what's happening? What? And then envelope. What the? The futon flew off. What? What's happening? I heard until... Is that like some kind of a... Futon flew off. Is that like some kind of a wordplay? I think so. Umbrella... I think these are all... Yeah, like I need to hear it, otherwise I won't be able to understand. Um, oh yeah, this is Komi we're talking about, she can't... <laughs> oh my god. Oh. She's sending recordings or something? Arumika no any Arumika... Oh my god, okay, now I understand. <laughs> Mikan and Arumikan. <laughs> That's like a... Fun. <laughs> Dad jokes. <laughs> yeah, I don't like rain seasons as well. Same, Najimi. Pipe in the ground went in. More wordplay. I'm sure of it. <laughs> I need to hear them, otherwise, I won't be able to understand. Alright. Dad jokes, come on, crack some. <laughs> yes. All right. Oh, 
。お、猫が寝転んだ。OK。<笑>猫は寝転んだら。Alright。クラップクラップクラップクラップ。Oh my god. That was nice. But this is the first ep- We saw this in the first episode, didn't we? Okay. The way they actually recap it is so interesting. They recap it in such interesting ways. I love that. Like every episode, the recap is in a unique way. Not recap, but this, this first section that they say, this narration that they give. Like, I'm really happy that Komi's adaptation is so perfect. Like, Like, what else do you need? Like, this is one of the like, the most perfect、uh, a d a p t a t i o n of, like, as I said, like, I've been hearing a lot about Komi, and since it was, I always thought about reading the manga, but I knew that, like, it's definitely going to have an anime in the future, so I just did not read the manga, I just kept myself. So, like, you know, but I've been hearing, like, you know, Komi is, like, In the anime community, Komi is always there. Like, you know, you see memes and so many stuff about Komi in the manga. And, like, like I, I know how much popular Komi is and how people adore, you know, this manga. So, I really, like, you know, I was praying that if we get an anime, like, let a good studio adapt it in a perfect manner. And I have to say, like, this is perfect. Like, Such, I, don't, I don't know what to say. Like, I'm, I'm really happy with this adaptation. Like, the animations, the visuals, everything. Like, the way they do this. And I'm sure Komi will have a lot of seasons upcoming, you know? So, yeah, like, I think the manga is like at 200 chapters or something. Anyways. Never bought any, my son.、Um, <laughs> yeah, what does she do in her free time? Like, I wonder. <laughs> Cat ears. Alright, l let's see what she has to say. I appreciate the gesture, but. I'm <laughs> Yeah. A somewhat unknown being. <laughs> oh boy. I want you to join us. Oh, oh yeah, true. True. That's true. Alright. Who does. Okay, I got you. Oh my god, she'll say something like, I, I want a collar or something. God. Oh, is this Yam Yamai? Is this Yamai? I think that's Yamai. I'm sure that is Yamai. <laughs> yeah. Join the party. <laughs> Okay. Mm, she has no idea, probably. Oh, yeah. My mom is in. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. All right.、Oh. Well, yeah, you need a competition. What? Oh, okay, she's still, that's why. All right. She's not moving. 
Okay, this is number one. Um. <laughs> Najimi's choice, alright. Okay, I'm sure this will be very stylish or something. Oh, damn! Generous! Okay, that's good. Wow, okay. Perfect. Yes, perfect. Tada no? Tada no? Tada no? What? <laughs> okay. Okay, that's pretty normal. I was not zero. <laughs> yeah, out, out of range. Okay, Agarisan. Oh, interesting choice. No, that's bad. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh my god, Yamai, Yamai will be like zero. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> the way she's looking at Tadano. <laughs> All right. All right, there you go. That's the most natural one. Um. <laughs> you know what? I really like the China dress. Not gonna lie. But this is good as well. But this is good as well. Like, for me, the China dress is a top, then this one. Oh, this is good as well. Damn. Najimi's choice. Najimi's choice is pretty good. Okay. What? <laughs> okay. Kamiko? Oh, Kamiko. Hair, okay. Understandable. Karismaki. Damn, she... Karis. Oh, Karis, Karisma. Okay. Okay, I was, I was kind of thinking, what, what's her name? Like, you know, wordplay. Karisma and Kamiko, alright. <laughs> no, you're okay. Oh, she knows her. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I'm stinky. Wow. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> oh. What? No. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Damn. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. She's is she sleeping? Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> so she doesn't. Have Oh boy. Well, she's having a nice time. Wow, she, she, she's Tadano on Tadano's level. Hmm. 
Okay, I think she'll be probably a little bit nervous because this is someone who she doesn't know. <laughs> uh, okay. Hmm. What? 12 days. What? Oh, 12 days. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. What? What? Oh wow. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Did you say something like thank you or something? Like, by pointing at the book? I think it's something like that, let's see. Can you please show us what she pointed at? Wait, what? Oh, it's a... <laughs> they said thank you very much. There you go. As I said, like she said something like thank you or something. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, okay. So no one was able to kind of. There you go. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> okay, worries and doubts. Ah, uh, yeah, true. <laughs> Tamo <Tamagaki>. Gaki. <laughs> Is Tamagaki childish? No. <laughs> Why do you grow catty? <laughs> Well, Kami, oh, oh my god, the miscommunication, Kaze and Win. <laughs> yeah. I show democrats okay damn the word plays <laughs> okay <laughs> she fell asleep thinking about this <laughs> oh Studying for tests, okay. Oh boy. Well. <laughs> I'm sure Komi probably does well and... <laughs> Test. I think Tadam is probably average in all tests or something like that. Everyone has tests. What? <laughs> oh 
ok <laughs> wow Wait, who? Oh, the librarian No, who is this? Yeah <coughs> Cody means <laughs> Go okay. Why is she talking like that? <laughs> hmm. What the? What is that? <laughs> okay. Um. Y yes. hit <laughs> twice oh my god Jack. no stop Ooh. he'll die <laughs> oh oh um oh yeah, don't don't let it fall. If you let it fall. <laughs> Just don't let it fall. That's that's all you need to do. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, I was thinking like that. Like, you know, it's the, probably the first time actually someone hit her. <laughs> Damn. In the end, all three of them left. <laughs> okay, they, they did pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> ah, Makeru. Makeru, okay. Oh, damn, that's by a lot. That's by a lot. Okay. It's the summer season. Oh, yeah, summer. Okay. <laughs> Wait, let me guess. There'll be a firework episode or something? It's hot, it's summer vacation. A firework episode, probably in the next one or something. What? I. Uh, I'm trying to invite her friends. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think we've seen the sister before, did we? Like we heard her, but... Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. <laughs> uh... Um, oh, <laughs> brother is sick. Oh, she, she's falling. Okay, nice. Um, what the hell, Tadano? <laughs> okay, pool episode. I thought there would be a firework episode. Yes. Okay, I'm sure there will be a firework episode, but it'll be later on. <laughs> Yomikiri Land. <clears throat> oh. 
<laughs> All right. All right. Wow, another great episode. Okay. Um. So yeah, I forgot. Like usually <laughs> in summer vacations and stuff, you know, in anime, there's a few staple things that happens. Um, pool or the beach episode. Either of it, you know. If there's a pool episode, there's no beach episode. If there's a beach episode, there's no pool episode. So. Okay, we have a pool episode. Fireworks episode. A must. Another uh, must. Which I hope it will happen here as well. Another episode. Uh, another thing that happens is... Test of courage. Sometimes it happens. There are a few animes kind of that do, does this. In summer especially. Test of courage episode. Where in the night they go to the school and... You know what happens. Okay, market is there. Okay, that's it. All right. So yeah, as I was saying, so these are like the staple episodes that usually happens um, whenever there's like a summer vacation or something like that. So I was thinking like there'll be a sort of fireworks episode, which I think will happen in the future. You know, even if it's not this summer, but probably in some other summer, there will probably happen a firework episode because, you know, this is like a slice of life and like every slice of life is like a staple thing. Like, you know, fireworks episodes, these type of episodes are something that definitely happens in um slice of life animates so i'm sure we'll have that <clears throat> okay um i'm waiting for those <laughs> uh, next episode we'll probably go to the pool so yeah that'll be another one okay so <clears throat> this episode here uh the first beginning of the episode they were like <laughs> you know like doing dad jokes and stuff like some pun filled episode and uh, pun filled jokes now <clears throat> okay they were at the beginning komi was writing them and obviously like you know like i kind of understand japanese a little bit but obviously i won't be able to understand the joke by reading a translation of it you know like i won't be able to understand because the translation kind of tries to you know like uh you know like usually these type of things gets lost in translation these type of jokes so you need to listen to them that's why <coughs> Uh, Tadan was also like you know you need to actually tell them for these things to actually make proper sense and <laughs> Komi calls him and um, the first one was uh, there is a tangerine on an alumini aluminium can and the translation was just a sec where is it uh, not translation but the voice line was um arumikan no ueni arumikan Arumikan no ueni on top of an aluminium can. Arumikan. A tangerine is there. So that's like the rough translation. <laughs> and it mixes, you know, Arumikan and Arumikan. <clears throat> like, <laughs> that's like the wordplay that they did. And uh, you can call, I, I think you can call this a pun as well. And <laughs> I really love these type of stuff, you know. <laughs> like, <laughs> As Tarun said, dad jokes, and this is just fantastic. <laughs> and then there's another one which I think Tadano said. Okay, the cat. The cat fell. Like, this, again, like, you know, this is completely lost in translation, but he says, Neko ga nekoronda. Neko, cat. Neko ga, the cat, nekoronda fell down so <laughs> again perfect perfect wordplay perfect pun whichever whatever you call this and <laughs> like i like i have like a what do you call it like an a type like what do you call it like i have like a respect for the type of like you know these type of characters who make who are able to make puns like it it needs like you know it, it needs actual proper intelligence to make puns like how else will you make them so like respect to them in a way like people kind of like you know like say that oh like puns i hate these like you know like people kind of cringe but for me i i kind of 
see them in like in a light of respect i'm like how the hell do you even come up with these you know <laughs> so props to tadano and props to um komi as well for for being able to come up with these type of stuff and yeah this is what i really love about this show this show has so many word plays show so many puns and stuff like i i just love this like this is such a like refreshing um you know <laughs> i don't <laughs> refreshing uh, type of anime and it's like you know like we can see it's like it's a slice of life it's it's a um happy type of an anime and this is just this is just great just you know like do you know spend time watch this and like feel happy it's like a feel happy type of a show and it's fantastic <clears throat> all right okay so <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> okay the first one was um uh, clothes buying clothes and okay where is that yeah here it is uh they go to buy clothes and we have the kind of the full crew um we have yabai uh, yamai uh, najimi komi tadano and agari and <clears throat> even though <laughs> yamai was basically stalking her but still you know so <laughs> now they start choosing and i have to say like you know out of all the dresses um i feel like the china dress looked the best on komi it's just my choice and you know like najimi's choice was solid all throughout even like you know the last scene where they show uh you know najimi's actual choice like she said like oh that was like a joke like obviously like you, you can't just like you know wear a china dress and go outside like and the najimi's actual choice was um it was pretty <coughs> cheap as well like <coughs> Uh, hairband 680 uh, glasses 300 top 2980 bottom 2480 yeah it's, it's decent you know the 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 range of um uh what do you call it expense was also decent and sandals i i really like najimi's choice she she had a uh, like you know najimi had a solid choice i have to say like damn like go me in glasses that's <laughs> that's fantastic but yeah, Tadano's choice was also great. Um, I have to say, uh, I was not expecting Yamai to choose something like that. Uh, but like you know, I thought it would be something very extreme or something. But you know what? Like I can like you know I can see that it's it's like it, it it's what can I say? Like she wants the best for Komi, and that's why she was like you know what? <laughs> like just let's get over the one ten thousand yen budget. I don't care. You know, I, I'll choose the best that is there for Komi. And that's why she went all over 10,000 yen and she got disqualified. Um, Agari's choice, um, I don't know. I feel like that's like a type of dress you would wear, you know, like at, at your house. Like it's like a very casual dress or if you like, you know, like if you, I don't know, like I, I don't know anything about dresses and stuff. And so basically I think it would be something that someone would buy for more casual use you know like a kuma t-shirt and <laughs> well, I, I think that was the jeans she was wearing yeah jeans and all that stuff but yeah so that's why like you know like i also did not like agari's choice that much but it was agari you know she, she's more of a plain simple type of a person and she usually tries to go for some thing which is which does not stand out which is understandable because it's like and it's her it's like her personality and which does not stand out and all that stuff so she brought something like that here well since this was like a competition obviously she gets low points because of that and then tadano's choice was <clears throat> i have to say it it it's tadano's choice was probably something that actually um fits komi perfectly you know for like for her personality her calming type of personality her um you know that type of personality the komi's personality it it fits perfect with that dress you know, that one piece dress and uh, yeah so that's why it was like for komi it was perfect but my personal opinion i love najimi's choice you know the china dress and also the last last dress that she actually she the, her her real choice uh the one with the glasses and all i i really love that like those are my top ones 
but yeah for komi that one was perfect that the thing that tadano cho chose and this is something we have to understand you know like this is not about tadano or uh, najimi this is about komi like komi is going to wear it so i might feel like yeah this is good this is good but something that will actually fit komi and something that she will herself will like to wear or she herself will feel comfortable in it that's the best choice and in in that opinion like you know in that way you can say that tadano's choice was the top because it was something that he felt that komi would like it it was not based on his own uh, preferences it was based on what he thought that would fit komi perfectly and obviously that that is the best choice i think you know so that's how tadano wins but for personal preferences <laughs> najimi nails it <laughs> Okay, that was the whole um uh what was that uh, the 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 dress the dress choosing section, <clears throat> and uh, okay, and then we get to the next one. Okay, let me check the name puns again. I'm 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 quite sure about about this this time. Um, the Karismaki and what was the other one? Uh, Kamiko wasn't it? Just to say Kamiko. Uh. <clears throat> Like obviously, it's very easy to understand the uh, Kamiko. It was Kamiko, wasn't it? What was her name? No, wait a minute. I think I probably made a mistake or something. Just a sec. Uh, okay. Okay, that was the the other girl was Karismaki. Kamiko Arai. Yeah, Kamiko Arai. What the hell? Is Her name is not in the wiki? Mm. Oh, her name is not in the wiki. I was trying to find the wiki, okay? But her name is not there. Okay, let me try to find Karismaki. Okay, she's also not there. Uh, like Komi's wiki does not have them um i usually go to the wiki to actually uh, you know try to uh, see the name and the meanings of them so but unfortunately we don't have these two characters in the wiki but it's as i said it's pretty easy to understand their uh, name the meaning of their names and everything um charismaki charisma you know charismatic charismaki that's like that's her name and um the other girl was kamiko arai kamiko arai kami means hair ko means girl or something like that arai arai means to tidy or something like that i'm, I'm not sure but it is related to hair so again you know the word place and the way it's related to their names fantastic so <laughs> okay so we get to these two here komi comes in they do a little haircut and a little shampooing you know and <clears throat> so so Karis knew her from the beginning because as, as Komi said she's been coming here from uh, 12 years old and uh, that's why she's pretty accustomed to Komi and she she knows that she doesn't particularly talk and <clears throat> I think she probably doesn't know that she has this kind of a communication disorder but she, she, I think she basically thinks that, yeah, she doesn't want to talk because she's in a hairdresser. You know, as she says in the end, like there are a few people who doesn't want to talk while in a hairdresser. So that, that probably shows that she actually doesn't know what her problem is, you know, like that she cannot talk properly uh, to strangers. So she just thinks that, yeah, she, she probably doesn't want to talk because it's like a hairdresser. People like to keep quiet here. So yeah, that's what she was thinking. But you know what? Yeah, like that was that okay so <laughs> kamiko she's like like the new person who came like you know who's working here uh, a fresher and she doesn't know about komi that's why she's like oh have i done something wrong did i not actually um what do you call it um welcome her properly like like does has she felt, felt offended and all and why is she not talking like this is very relatable or understandable um behavior because you know like if there's like you are in these type of things where you are you know like in customer service i, I think that's what you call these things yeah um <laughs> whenever the customer is kind of like you know like keeps quiet or does not talk about anything or it, it kind of feels 
like, you know you don't are you not able to un- gauge their expressions and stuff it is kind of a little bit intimidating because you know you're you are the person who who like you know you, you're the employee and you need to make everything best for the customer so that the customer comes back again so it's very intimidating the way she was feeling and <laughs> she was like damn did i do, some, do something wrong am, am i in and, and she's a f- completely new um to the job that's why it's obviously going to become more intimidating for her as well if if a customer doesn't say anything but in the end Romy was like thank you very much <laughs> in the magazine and she she understood that yeah everything's fine okay um okay the next section uh, oh and then like you know like every no one is able to understand but tadano was like did you cut your hair <laughs> oh my god and yeah okay so the next one where komi does not is unable to fall asleep because of all her you know, th- thoughts that are coming to her head um the one with yamai where she asks what do you want to eat and she's like you know her anxious she's getting anxiety now she's thinking like oh i could have said something interesting is tamagaki childish all that stuff i'm sure everyone feels like you know <laughs> like these type of doubts in their mind um some somewhere in their life you know this is very normal and <laughs> then <laughs> Najimi is like you know like yeah come play with play with us. <laughs> I loved Yagari's portion where it is full on misunderstanding between those two because again like word word plays. <laughs> Agari is saying like the paper got wet kami, and paper means kami. Hair also means kami. So I'm so clumsy, right? and <laughs> Komi is like is your cold all right cold kaze like kaze means cold and kaze also means wind so so okay wait basically what's happening here is like um um Komi thought that <laughs> Agarabi is talking about her hair that's why she said that are you okay is your cold all right like kaze while Agari was talking about her book she was like my kami which is the paper got wet and when komi asked is your cold okay or kaze all right she's like oh kaze means wind and she was thinking like she's talking about the wind and uh, <laughs> she was like no there was no wind or which also means kaze and oh my god like the full-blown misunderstanding here okay my god and Tadan was able to, you know, like, um, repair that, salvage that situation, kind of. But yeah. All right, that was that. And then we get to the next scene where they go to the library to study. Uh, Najimi doesn't want to study at all. She, she's like, oh, let me bring out this Jenga and just, you know. <laughs> and then there's this other person, Go. What was her name? Gori. Just a second. Goriko? Was that her name? Gori me, go not Gori ko, Gori me. Okay, all right. Um, I don't know if we'll meet her again in the future. Probably we will, but yeah. Anyways, um, her name is Gori me. <sighs> okay, so yeah, as I was saying, they were trying to uh, study in the library, and yeah, unfortunately, Najimi had no intention of doing that. She was like, oh, Jenga, oh, this, oh, that, haha, <laughs> and you know, like she kind of roped in Tadano and um um Komi as well into the games <laughs> she gets three strikes and she's out yeah. and but you know Komi is happy that they were able to like spend a nice little time study and they did pretty decent in this test uh, you know Najimi did not st- study but she's probably intelligent so that's why and but Makedu lost from Komi so yeah Okay, then summer vacation and I was sure we're going to get something related to summer vacation and I thought it would be fireworks, but I'm sure fireworks will come in the future. But for now, next episode, hopefully it will be a pool episode. And uh, Komi was kind of hesitating to actually talk with people, uh, like invite them. 
uh, thankfully Najimi came to the rescue she called both Tadano and Komi and was like yeah let's hang out and yeah that was that so okay uh, in the end we see like yeah the, 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 the room is starting to get filled out um, we have uh, Nakanaka, Tadano, um, Yamai, uh, Agari, Komi, Najimi and Makeru all right one two three four five six six okay and it's a shame that we did not get any friends in this episode but as i said like in a previous episode we got two friends actually so yeah <laughs> i guess that kind of you know um cancels that so yeah we still have six friends a lot of friends we need we need a lot we need a lot more friends to uh, reach 100 so that's it so that's it guys so thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to comic can't communicate episode number six if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll definitely check them out and that's it guys so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of comic can't communicate until then goodbye and have a nice day